Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, choir master, organist at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis, and also artistic director and founder of Vocal Essence. Each day, I've chosen a composer who has had a role to play with both organizations, and today it's the Canadian composer, Mark Surrett. Mark lives up in Kingston, Ontario, he uh, founded the Cantabile Singers, the Cantabile Choirs, in 1996. He is a composer, he is an organist, he is a conductor. And he's written a lot of beautiful choral music. And I wanted, because of course Canada is our neighbor, to include several Canadian composers in the course of these musical moments. It was in 2000 that I first came upon Mark's music, and it was a simple, sweet, wonderful Christmas piece that he had written called Thou Shalt Know Him. The text, he says in the music, is anonymous, but it's a beautiful, wonderful thought. Thou shalt know him when he comes, not by any din, of drums, nor his manners, nor his airs, nor by anything he wears. Thou shalt know him when he comes, not by his crown or by his gown, but his coming known shall be by the holy harmony which his coming makes in thee. Well, over the years, Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church have sung this treasured, beautiful little motet, which I'm going to play for you now. It was last year when I was up in Ontario that I met Mark and we hit it off right away as I knew we would. He showed me more of his music and we talked about other ideas and over the years I think we've done probably five of his anthems at Plymouth Church. He is also, as I mentioned, an organist and when I went to look uh, in my library, I found that there was a collection of pieces that had been written, one of them by Mark, uh, in memory of Gerald Bales. Well, Gerald Bales was from 1959 to 1971, he was the organist choir master at St. Mark's Cathedral here in Minneapolis, and I knew Gerald. He was a terrific composer, a wonderful, uh, crazy, wonderful guy, and uh, was somebody that was a, a good colleague to have. He then returned to Canada. He passed away in 2002, but a number of Canadian composers then uh, decided in his memory to do a collection, actually two collections, 
And so Mark wrote a Sicilienne, and I found it in my collection of music of his, a second volume of organ music in memory of Gerald Bales. So obviously I can't do it on the piano, so I'll go to the organ now, our wonderful 89 rank Holt Camp organ here at Plymouth Church to play Sicilienne by Mark Surrett and have a wonderful day.